Hello and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob and I call myself Sansomi. And today we're going to start off with the World Cup because there's been a World Cup being played. Uh, I did record uh, for two hours an episode that I was supposed to be releasing uh, this Saturday in between these two episodes, which I thought was a good Saturday surprise thing imaging. But once I was done and went out, there had been, after 43 minutes, there had been something happening in the UBS which made um, the recording stop after 43 minutes. And I had no sound or anything, so I hadn't noticed it. I just continued to play, and, and so I just had to scrap that Saturday surprise. And we'll just go a quick look through in the World Cup here. Where we can see, um, surprising that Scotland coming through instead of Holland in the first group here. And we can see Spain ending up last in this one. Pretty much the, 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 the thing. And in the second round, England goes out against Switzerland. Sweden beating out Argentina. A lot of surprising wrestles. Uh, Italy beating France. Um, Serbia beating the United States, that might not be uh, 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 such a big surprise, but just hang on and you will see some big surprise. Brazil beating Mexico, and let's go on to the next, the quarterfinal here. Sweden, Germany, not very surprising that Germany managed to beat them. Switzerland, though, beating out first England, then Portugal, that's a big surprise. Belgium losing against Italy. And here's the big surprise in the quarterfinal, Brazil, Serbia. And Serbia beating out Brazil. That's, that's just weird. And then in the semifinals, Italy beating Serbia 4-0. So after making a, such a great game against Brazil, they went out against Italy pretty easy. And Switzerland finally came to an end with Germany beating them. And so we have a third place playoff where Serbia won on penalties against Switzerland. And then we have the final, which went, I mean, after full time, it's, it's, it was 2-2. And then the it went on to be 3-3. And then Germany won the penalty shootout. So... That's how the World Cup went, and we're just going to have to take a little look here that Leroy Sané won the goal-scoring league with six goals. But very often, uh, in my recollection, um, is that they actually do win with with six goals in that uh, competition, the goal scorer. Bruno Fernandes having the highest rating, Jack Grealish the most assists. So, yeah. I guess you can have a look at everything here. And uh, so Germany being put in as the 2022 World Cup winner. Now this will be more interesting once we get our hands on Football Manager 23. Because then there will be the right teams that have qualified and everything. Italy will not be able to reach the final because they will not be playing in the coming World Cup. So, but I guess that's all there is when it comes to the World Cup. I don't think we need to take a look at anything more. You all know how this ended then. So well, let's get on with this episode and we are about to play away to Tottenham. That's our first game of this episode. So let's hope that we can, or well, that we have... Oh my god. Let's say we want that one to be first ranked and then that, yes. So why are they jumping about? So we're gonna use David De Gea in goal, of course. And as a right defender, I want I want Delot Dalot to play as a right defender. And then we're gonna have, of course. Matthias De Ligt and Varane to be the central defense and then we want a left defender and I guess that's going to be 
Or is he injured or something? Where's Luke Shaw? Have we... Yeah, take away unavailable. So let's do like that. So that we can see what has happened to him then. Well, he's injured. And he's expected to be out for up to four days. So we need to have somebody else play in that left situation. Let's take away the young lads for now. We have Luke Shaw there, as I said. But then we do not have someone to play there. So what we're going to do is we're going to move Dalot to play on the left side and put Fambin Saka in on the right side. Now, as a right midfielder, we do have our Jaden Sancho. And then we want the defensive. We, we put Paul Pogba. And we have, of course, Bruno Fernandes in the offensive. And at the left, we have Mbappe. And then up front, we're going to go with Chesco and Adayemi. And then we're going to have to put in our under-23 players as well here, because I don't think we can get the team full with that. I think we're going to have Anel on the bench. Well, not as the first one. We want a goalkeeper there, so we're going to go with Dean Henderson. What's that white line doing that? Very annoying. And then we want uh, somebody that can play... Yeah, right and left defender, that will be good. So Ethan Laird, going to get the opportunity. We have Anel. And do we want another one? Like, hmm, let's put in Kamara as well there. And then we want somebody that can play, um, hopefully like Jesse Linga, that can play both on the right and the left. We want somebody to be able to play as a defensive midfielder. Um, and uh, we want somebody to be able to play as an offensive midfielder. And then the strikers, we're going to be Cavani. And we, oh, we don't have anybody else really there. We're going to go with Rashford. So this is the team. And if you're wondering, we play with a mentality for as positive. In possession, we have these rules. I do like a lot of uh, overlaps like that. So, uh, yeah. And we work the ball into that and more expre exp expressive. Um, higher tempo, shorter passing, no time wasting. I don't like time wasting. And then in transition, we are going counter, pr counter press. And then when possession has been won, we counter attack, of course. And then we just have distribute to playmaker, which is Pogba. And then out of possession, and this is what we do. We use offside traps. We use tight markings. Uh, we have trigger press quite often or more often and prevent uh, short goalkeeper distribution. And I don't think we really, I think we put this a bit higher. Yes, and it's, and it's standard on the defensive line. So that's the way it looks. Let's go on. Let's go to the game. Let's see if we can bring another three point in this game. It will be interesting to see because we really want a victory here. Go to match. Come on, United. We do have things up and running here now. We don't want to go hard in on one tackle. That's never good for me, I think, uh, because I don't like it when we get uh, players sent off or, or a lot of yellow cards. We're not going to do that. We're going to pump our fists, though. I think we're going to go with the recommendation from the assistant manager. It looked like they were all been motivated. Let's hope for the best here now. Come on, United. So, a game against Tottenham, and this is how they line up. So, yeah, and uh, I think Kane is playing in Manchester City in this save here. So now we're going to go to kick off here and we're going to see what we can do against Tottenham. It's going to be interesting and uh, yeah, the kick off is off. Moran, Fernandes, finding Mbappe, 
Mbappe. He dribbles in with the ball. He shoots. Oh, it's pretty far outside there. Not a good shot, I must say. So let's hope that we can continue. Well, we have been playing really well this season. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! That was a weird one. Look at this. The throw in. The, the cross. And then the header away and it reached the run hitting Kolochevsky. And 1-0. That wasn't very good. Now I'm starting to be a bit nervous here. We don't want to lose out against Tottenham. That's for sure. Oh crap around me. Now I'm a bit f a bit scared that it might be a bit high on the on the stadium here, the sound from the spectators. But uh, if I'm, I'm trying out something new now with headphones and stuff like that so that I can hear the spectators without it being recorded from the outside, it's just being recorded in the OBS instead. So, uh, and hopefully that will make it a better sound because it, the, the spectator sound was not sounding good. So hopefully this will be better and hopefully it won't overpower my voice and there's Shesko! 1-1! One, one. Now there's been a lot of interest from Sh on Shesko from uh, Dortmund. They have been interested in signing and it's been talking about a 52 million pounds bid. And I don't know. I don't want to sell him, but if I could get Haaland instead of Shesko, maybe some deal could be done. But I'm not, I'm not saying that I will, but Let's see what happens here. So 1-1, one, one. we are back in it in this game. Let's hope that we can come back and put more pressure on them. Has Sancho, Pogba, De Ligt, Ferdinand, Cesco, Pogba making it. Oh, Adayemi through and Adayemi. Oh, far over. God, he aimed for the stars there. Come on, United. Did not go very well. Oh, good tackle by De Ligt. Mbappe, Baran, De Ligt. And here, oh, good passing to Fernandez. Chesco to Sancho. Sancho to Alayemi! 2 1 for Manchester United. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's just good. I can see me jumping around out there. Let's see if I can find myself out there. Look at the... I don't know if you can see it here, but I was jumping around being quite happy there as well. That's cool. Very, very cool. So we take the lead here, and let's hope that we can continue with this. We are in need of three points, of course, as always. We want to put the pressure on City. We know how good they can be. And, um, yeah, I want to try and seal the league title as soon as possible, of course. And here's Adeyemi! Oh! 3-1! We are on a run here. I'm, I'm surprised on how, how quickly... Yes, I'm rewarded. How quickly I've gotten it to work this time, just by putting my effort into buying a good central defender instead of buying like I did in my last save I, I tried to get or I did get Erlan Haaland and um, that just was not working this is working by just signing the lift instead and we have already started to be a powerhouse in the league we, we are Actually, I'm finding it it's, uh, to be most possible that we are going to win the league. Uh, there's still a long way to go and there's still a lot of injuries that can happen and still a lot of 
bad results and we have form oh, to come and go but yeah uh, and of course I know as well that we didn't get to buy or sign I should say because he's a free transfer Mbappe we forgot about that his contract was running out uh, when we played the other so we didn't get him but this is looking good uh, we are really really looking good here we're going to go with the assistance recommendation here as well and everybody was motivated so let's get this second half on the way and looking at the table we are yeah we are we're in the driving seat at the moment we are better we are five points ahead of city even though they are winning their game so uh, Let's hope that my lads can keep up the pressure here and at least keep uh, Tottenham away from scoring goals on us so that we can get the three points. Yes, Mbappe. Mbappe releasing it to... Oh! Arayemi couldn't really get it into a net. But a corner. Fernandez. Oh! That wasn't the best of corners. But we keep the pressure, that's the important thing here. One goal by Shesko, two by Karim Adayeme, and uh, yeah, 3-1, we should win this game. I really don't know if I'm supposed to do any changes here, but I think I'm going to do that. But now it's too late. Uh, I need to do it earlier if I want to do it. Let's see, Varane. Come on, Varane. Uh, oh. No, 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 no. What did you do? That's a, such a bad pass by Varane. Why didn't people, why didn't the other defenders meet him up so that he didn't have to shoot that long ball? Well, well we did win anyway, but uh, yeah, this wasn't good very disappointed that we let that goal in I mean yeah could be something that will be important in the end of the season we maybe we will lose on goal difference or something like that and then that goal might be the reason so I don't like maybe making uh, small mistakes like that um, or stupid mistakes I don't know what to say about it but yeah so we're top of the table five points ahead of City uh, 12 goals ahead of City as well so it looks good it looks really good to be honest and uh, I'll see you in the next game and so we're back with the next game now first of all I need to say something sad and that is that it broke in between after the Tottenham game I was just sitting quietly and getting the 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 game to to move along and I got a sound and I looked on the OBS and it had broken again um, so uh, Fortunately, we haven't lost any game play, so that shouldn't be any problem. Uh, the sound could be a bit bad now. I don't hope so, but it could be. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to work on that for this episode, but I'm going to fix it for the next episode. Uh, because I think that the might be the NVIDIA broadcasting uh, program that... Uh, that makes this happen because that's the only thing I know I've changed um, so um, I'm hoping I'm guessing that that is the problem I have turned it off and hopefully we will not have any problems saving this <clears throat> so uh, but as I said the sound could be a bit bad uh, for this and for the next game for this episode that is the entire episode i could uh, once it has broke it when it, when it broke uh, i went back and, and uh, listened to the previous game the tottenham game and i did think that the 
the spectators did overtake a little too much, so I've lowered that level. Hopefully, broadcast didn't have that much to do with that, so we're just going to have to see what happens. And, um, yeah. Let's get, just let's get, get on with it and hope that it doesn't break in the middle of the game, because then I don't know what to do, but... Let's just go on with it and uh, see what we can do in this next game. Which is against Wolves. On home turf at Old Trafford we're going to face Wolves. And we have pretty fresh legs on our players. We have Kamara that's gone injured. And that's not good of course. So we're going to have to find someone else. I'm thinking Luke Shaw being a fitness problem. But it's the... Uh, yeah. Let's let's try out Luke Shaw there on that position. Um, so, uh, because both Anel and Luke Shaw is having fitness problems, but maybe I can put them in in the end of the game. Rashford, same thing there. So uh, yeah, and uh, Christian Eriksen has become unhappy. Uh, he wants to play. In an advanced playmaking situation, and I'm not letting him. Maybe he will take Pogba's position today if we have a good start. You can see there's lines between every single players here now, which make it should be that we could should be playing a bit better than we have, perhaps. So let's see. We're going to go with this team today, and it's Wolves. We really should, and. We're really hoping for another three-pointer here. Uh, hard one tackling. No, when I don't want to do that. So let's go to the dressing room. Pump our fist. And we can't choose what they want in, us to do. So I'm going to go with favourite here. And I want us to play like it. They look motivated, most of them. So let's kick off. And let's skip this one. And get on with the game. <clears throat> So we're on our way. Let's see if we can keep the pressure on City to and, and continue to win here today. It is Wolves. We should have a good chance of of beating Wolves. Oh, it's Adajemi. Karim Adajemi. And oh, just outside the post. Oh, my God. I hope I haven't lowered the spectators too much, uh, or, or something like that. Oh, Mbappe! You should have scored there. As I said, I will for the next episode, not for the next game. I'm not going to change anything uh, real in this um, in this episode. But in the next episode, I am going to do my best to try and find a way to have a stable sound. Uh, with good um, ratio between the spectators and my voice here on the, the on during the games here. Oh, here yeah, Wolves come! Oh, good save by De Gea. So still goalless, but we both have had dangerous opportunities to take the lead here. Oh, they playing good here today. We need to get a grip of this. We don't want to lose out on this, that's for sure. You get the ball away. There's a Carlson. That's a Swedish last name. And... Come on. Yeah, that's good. Pogba, Bruno Fernandes, Adiemi, Shesko. Shesko is free. Can Shesko put it in? And he puts it in! It is 15th goal of the season. It is 1-0 Manchester United. Marvellous. Just marvellous. And I like this. Good passing play here. And good ball by Karim to Shesko. And a good placing ball there by Shesko. And it's 1-0 for Manchester United. Brilliant. Binsaka, Pogba, Shesko. No Sancho what was. Here's Pogba to Delic to Varane. Dalot. Finding Sancho, Binsaka. Can Binsaka get in? It's good. Ooh, Sancho just outside the post. Good ball. Good opportunity for 
for Sancho there. So 25 minutes has gone. Here's Veron, here's Mbappe, here's Dalot. Come on, Fernandez, Dalot, Mbappe, Sancho, oh, just outside the post. Hitting the side nettings there. Bruno Fernandes. And, oh, nobody's there to receive the, the corner. That's unfortunate. Come on, United. Come on, United. Come on, United. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we've been, been playing good. Pogba hasn't been playing well. But uh, other than that, I think we've been playing good. So we're going to take out Pogba. Put in Christian Eriksen. But he should not be a defending like that. He should be a vast playmaker and have him as a support. And box to box can only play as a support, right? Yep, so he's going to continue to play as a supporting situation there because I don't want to change that. Let's get on with this. Pump fist and let's go with the assistance recommendation. And let's see what we can do here in the second half. Christian Eriksen coming in for Paul Pogba. Fernandes. Mbappe. Dalot. Mbappe. Fernandes. Varane. Mbappe. Dalot. Here's Adayemi. Here's Dalot again. To Fernandes. Here's Christian Eriksen. Good ball by Eriksen to Dalot. Can he get the ball in? He gets it now. Mbappe didn't meet up with that one. Here's the lead. Here's Ericsson. Ericsson to Sancho. Back to Ericsson. To Van Binsaka. Binsaka. Can he, he gets the ball in? And there's Mbappe. Back to Bruno Fernandes. To Delort. The chance sort of ran out of it. And here's Sancho. And there it is. Number two. 2-0 two for Manchester United. That just has to seal this game, hopefully anyway. And we get to use Ericsson in the position that he wants to be played. So that will make him perhaps a bit more happy. And he gets some playtime. And uh, yeah, let's see what this can bring us. Bruno Fernandes with a corner. And there's Sheshko! Benjamin Sheshko making it 3-0. We are starting to run away with it now. This is more like it. This is what we like. Good corner by Fernandez. Good header by Chesco. Goalkeeper is completely out of chance to do anything. And we keep the pressure on the on the table. We keep at least keep that five points ahead. I don't I haven't seen how it has gone for City so far. But we stay at least those five points ahead at the moment. Which is brilliant. And here's all oh, good pass by Fernandez. Till Sancho. Or to Sancho. And he scores again. Jadon Sancho. That is marvellous. I like that. 4-0. Uh, we are taking over this game completely. With uh, putting in Ericsson was a, a good thing, I guess. Um... He's been playing, he's not been playing very well, but uh, yeah. It's still five points, so City is winning their game as well. But I think we're going to go, we're going to pull away in goal difference as well. So this is good. 4-0, another goal, the ball here to Mbappe, and Mbappe scores! It's a goal, but it's going to be a VAR check, and it's been disallowed. Oh, when I finally made that South American scoring sound, it was disallowed. He was offside, well, clearly offside, so no doubt about it. But we are pulling away from them because they've only got one goal ahead in their lead. Because I remember they had 22 in goal difference. Now they have 23. And while we had 34, now we have 38 in goal difference. And that is humongous. And I, I feel that we have a very, very good chance of 
of winning the league this season. Chesco to Sancho. And Sancho tries to ship it, but that's a little too optimistic, perhaps. Now, another interesting news that I've forgotten about uh, because of uh, all the mess with, with the, the recordings and stuff like that is that Robert Lewandowski is running out of his contract and I've offered him a contract. So maybe after this season, we will get Lewandowski into the team as well. Uh, that will be that will mean that we will have a very very good attacking lineup because I mean, Chesco and Adayemi will be one year better. They will have developed in one year, uh, one year of development here. And uh, oh, oh, Chesco five nil, and then bringing in a veteran player like Robert Lewandowski will. Give us a, a a very very dangerous. Oh, it's been disallowed. That's what's unfortunate. I guess he was offside or something. Let's look at here. He was offside. Clearly offside. So they've done that good, Wolves. To be honest, even though they have let four goals in, they have trapped us in some uh, offside traps a couple of times here now. Fernandez and Mbappe. Alayemi. So we're going to have a, an incredible striking force next season if we get Lewandowski as well. And I still haven't given up on Haaland, uh, even though I feel like there are other players that might be more important to sign, like a right defender would have been really nice to get. And uh, perhaps someone to take the position of Varane. Here's Chesco. Chesco. Oh... And Eriksen gets to score as well. That's his first goal of the season. And we're going to put in Cavani here now at the end of the game here. And we'll give Luke Shaw the ability to get into. Give some minutes because so he doesn't. So he comes back from his fitness, from his injuries and stuff like that. So running away with it here. 5-0. What a glorious, glorious day, and what a glorious, glorious result. And we are now, yeah, we, we are going good here. And uh, let's just jump into the next screen here, which should have the league table and everything here. Yes, it has. Look at this, 39 goal difference. City has 23. We are running away with it a bit, like Liverpool did last season. And let's hope we can keep up this pressure. Uh, City winning 1-0 away against Brighton. So as I said as well, I'm not giving up the opportunity to sign uh, Erling Haaland either. Um, I think, yeah, it, would be, it will be hard uh, and difficult to get him to sign for us. But I, I haven't given up on him, that's for sure. So, but uh, now I'm just going to be, we just have one more game to play. And that's the, the that is the FA Cup that we have entered. I'm going to be, be facing Sunderland, I think it was. So, um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to see you there. And so we're back. It's going to be the last game of this episode. We're going to face Sunderland in the FA Cup. But first of all, we did not get Robert Lewandowski. He signed for Real Madrid, unfortunately. He's only signed a one-year contract, um, as you can see here, 23 to 24. So we could give it another try when he's 35 and see if he wants to play a year in United or, or two. But uh, for now, we're not going to get him. He's going to jump boat and he's going to go to Real Madrid. We offered him 400000 a week, actually. I don't remember everything with the bonus and stuff like that. But I think he's agreed with a, with a lower contract. Um, so he's earning less, but chosen Real Madrid in front of us, which is sad. But that's his decision. Uh, I also 
um, since I stop the recording i did listen to it and i could hear that the spectator sound was very low in this one very high in the first one very low in the second one so i did raise it a bit hopefully it will be okay um i didn't raise it to the level it was before but um <clears throat> i raised it just a little bit and hope that that will sound better I am so sorry for everything that this episode has been problematic with. Um, and I, of course, hope that it will be better in the already in the next episode. And I'm going to do my best to make sure of that. Oh, what's happened? It jumped right down there. Well, Mbappe is in need of a rest. And I'm actually thinking maybe I should give him that because this is Sunderland. I don't think they play in the Premier League. Um, so maybe I should give Lingard the opportunity to show himself here. And we can see that Karim Adejeme is very tired as well. So I'm thinking Cavani there. But I want, I at least want Adeyemi on the bench. So who's. Who will I take out? We're going to take out Ethan Laird. Like that. So, yeah. Maybe. No, we're going to go with this. And we're going to see if Christian Eriksson will come in in the second half or something for Pogba this time as well. And see if he can make a good impression. So, yeah. This is the team we're going to use today. It looks like they're pretty fresh. Uh, as I said, we're going to face Sunderland away in the FA Cup. And we really want to do good in this cup as well. Even if I, as always, I rank the league goal, the league, league title to be the most important thing to try and win. Uh, all the others are, are um, nice bonus things for me. It's always going to be the league that is the most important. And they want them to show him into weaker foot. I can do that. It's just the hard tackles. I don't want to put on the hard tackles. We pump fist and we go with the assistant's advice. It looked like that motivated them. Let's see what we can do in this game. Sunderland. Yeah. And uh, let's kick off. Let's not wait for that. Let's skip this as well. Let's get the game on the run. So, let's hope we can get our third victory of this save. The, oh, Bruno Fernandes with a good free kick there. Well, if we win this, we will have won all three games in this episode, which would be very, very welcome. This is an important game since it is the FA Cup. We only get one chance. If we lose this game, we're out of the Cup. We'll have to wait until the next year. We don't want to go out in the first round as we did in the League Cup against Fulham. So hopefully we will beat Sunderland at least. Here's Chesco coming through. Chesco and he puts it into the net! It's 1-0 Manchester United, and that is good news. That's really good news. And, uh, yeah, good pass by Sancho, and good run by Sheshko. And 1-0, just placing it beside the goalkeeper. Very calm, calmly done, and that is good. We have the lead, we can... Relax a bit, I hope. Oh, good. Good tackle by Shesko. And Shesko, can he find Cavani? Yes, Cavani. Cavani finding Delot. Delot finding Lingard. Lingard finding the goal! Brilliant. 2 0. And I'm hopeful that we will go through to the next round now. Uh, even if I'm going to be making some changes in the half time. Look at that. Squeezing it in. That's good. 
And it's good to be able to rest players like uh, Mbappe as well now that um, in these kind of games. Oh, good clearance by Sancho. And there's Chesco trying to pass himself, but it went it was a bit too hard and went a bit too long. So here's Evans for Sunderland. And here's Roberts. Oh, this is looking dangerous. Oh, lucky he shoots over there. Bruno Fernandes with a free kick. And, oh, good save. But a very good free kick as well. So, corner from Bruno Fernandes. And oh, nobody's there. Lingard chasing that ball. He gets it. No, it's been stolen by Roberts. But Lingard gets it back. And oh, that's... Getting the ball way too far away from him. And Sunderland bringing it out of play. Here's Van Binsaka with, with a throw in. Sancho. Pogba. Delict. Varane. To Delict. To Pogba. Finding Chesco. Finding Cavani. Cavani finding mm, the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper saved that one. Here's Bruno Fernandes. Oh, and there is, oh, Chesco just headed it right outside the goal there. I'm still feeling, it feels a bit secure, this. Uh, it feels like we can be making some changes in the second half here. And I think I'm going to be going with, let's see, we're going to go for Pogba, substitute with Ericsson. And, of course, we're going to have to be changing this to advanced playmaker. And I think I'm going to rest Varane as well and give Anel the opportunity. And let's go for that. Let's see what we can do with this team. Pump the fist. Going well, I know you're capable of even better. Nothing happened to the players, though. Well, we start the second half. We're going to see what we can do here. Here's Lingard getting the ball in, but no, they headed it away. Let's see, Anel. Oh, that's a bad pass by Anel. Oh, what have I done? Oh, that was a real Indian, as as we used to call it back in the day. I don't know if that's. Oh, what a bad pass by. What a bad pass. That was a really bad pass by Anel. Let's hope we can get back here now and not... Uh-oh. What's going on? Sunderland on their way back? This isn't looking good. Ericsson, thank you. Fernandez, Cavani. Dalot. To Lingard. Fernandez, Eriksson, Chesco, Chesco finding Sancho, Sancho finding Cavani, Cavani finding the net! Oh, let's hope he wasn't offside. I wonder if they're going to change, no, they're not going to have a look at it. He wasn't offside then. That's good. Chesco to Sancho and looks like he is offside actually. I would... Well, never mind. I want the point here. We're going to see if he was offside or not. Here comes now. Just staying on the right side. And it's 3 1 for Manchester United. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anel can breathe. Delot. Here's Delot again. Here's Anel. Finding Fernandez. Finding Chesco. Ericsson. Cavani, Cavani, oh, a good shot by Cavani. And a good save by their goalkeeper, that's for sure. Here's Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes, oh, delict. Well, it looks like we're going to go through. It looks like the FA Cup, the last game of this episode, is going to go our way as well. So three straight winnings in this episode. That's that's nice. That's always what you want, of course. Here's Lingard. Lingard. 
Gets the ball in and Shesko, ooh, just over the bar there. That's good. Well, it could have been better if they've scored, of course, but yeah. Should we give Henderson the opportunity to get some minutes? I think I'm going to do that, actually. He's not been able to play for for uh, very much, so yeah. Here's the lot. Here's Eriksson. Here's Fernandez. Chesco. Cavani. Oh, and Sancho brought down. And he's already got a yellow card. Is he going to go off? I think he went off. And free kick. And Lingard on the rebound. And there we have 4 1. Shouldn't be a problem anymore. Especially now if they're, th if they're only 10 men. It should be a shame if we lose out on anything here now. Here comes Sunderland though. With a free kick. Roberts to Defoe. Back to Roberts. And this is looking dangerous. Oh, this is really dangerous. But Defoe could not place that go that one into goal. That's phew, lucky for us. Roberts with the corner. Getting it in there, and we need headed it out, that's good. Come on, get the ball away from them. That's cool. I think we have, we, we are gonna win this game, and that's, we, we played well. All of the players have played really well. I'm very pleased with it. Well, Tambin Saka hasn't been very good though, but when you see that so a good result ending this episode which uh, i'm very happy with that we are through in the fa cup we're gonna go have a little look at how things are looking at the moment let's just press on this one and we have some news i will go through them after the i have gone through I'm going to go through other things here. First of all, we go through the, the the finances. We only have 200 million pounds now. Now, if I've had 200 million pounds, I would have been over the moon. But it's not much money in this day of age of football. So we need to do a better wrestle there. But yeah, we are on our way. And um, let's have a look at the schedule. Um Next episode will be Everton, West Ham and Manchester City. Unless they squeeze in an FA Cup game in there. But I don't think they will. So Manchester City. That's a, win, um, a game we need to win to keep pressure on them. Let's look into the competition here. We can see five points ahead. A lot of goal difference ahead. We only lost one game, which we did against Manchester City. So we have revenge to take on them. We have two draws, Brighton and Leicester. So that's interesting as well. The Champions League, we have been drawn against Benfica, as we know. Which will happen in February. FA Cup, we could see that we won against Sunderland with 4-1. Interesting to... Let's have a look if we can see any shock results here. But, uh, let's see, Swansea, Arsenal, we only 1-0 against Wimbledon. But they did win. Liverpool winning 3-0 there. Brentford, Swindon, Cardiff, that hasn't been played yet. And Rochdale beating out Hull City. Reading Coventry, not much to say about that. Everton beating West Ham with 4 0. Leeds beating Peterborough, City, Villa. Brighton beating Portsmouth. No, not. Ipswich beating Tottenham. Tottenham is out of the FA Cup. Being beaten out by Ipswich, that's a shocker. And Preston beating Newcastle. Another shocker. That's, that's kind of cool, actually. Is there any other shocker here? Doesn't look like it. But that was some 
some uh, major upsets here, especially Ipswich, I think. Uh, I think they're both in that um, division, but Newcastle is on the uh, mid-table here. Well, they're pretty close to each other, actually, so I guess both of them are big surprises, both the Ipswich and the Preston game. So that's interesting. And as I said, we were knocked out by Fulham in our very first round of that Carabao Cup, which is a bit of a shame. So, but, um, yeah. The Champions League. We can see the top scorer for Man United is Benjamin Sheska with five goals when it comes to the Champions League. In the league, though, it's Karim Adeyemi with 20 goals. That's cool. We could actually see how does it look. We, we are. Adeyemi is number one and Chesco is number two in the goal scoring league there. That's interesting. Gabriel Barbosa is number three. And we have all the three best ranked players. Adeyemi, Chesco, Fernandez. And most assists, Chesco, Fernandez, and Mbappe. Interesting. We are having a heck of a season. And I'm just hoping that we can keep this up and stand as winner at the end of the season. That would have been cool. So let's go back and let's go into the Champions League. Uh, we can see here we're definitely not in the run for the Goal scorer there, but we do have average rating. Benjamin Chesko is the best in the entire Champions League. Player of the match, three times for Benjamin Chesko, so that's been cool. But as I said, nowhere near. And I remember that it said, as it said, uh, it was um, five goals, so we are still two. Chesko is two goals after Joseph here. So, yeah, we're nowhere near any other things here. So that's a bit of a shame. And then we have the FA Cup. Only been one game, but for us. But uh, I thought we were, might, might been able to see somebody from our club. But nowhere are we shown, even though we won with 4-1. So, yeah, that's just the way it is. Now, another thing... I wanted to find out was here. Look at this. Harry Kane in Manchester City. How long has he's, he been there? We have sort of ignored that thing imaging. He's 102 million pounds. They bought him for 100 in at the start of this season. And he's made nine goals in 12 games. And he's actually been playing quite good compared to what he did in Tottenham last season. So, yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. So I think maybe we should, after each um, transfer window, maybe we should go in and, and have a look at what has happened in, in the transfer windows. Maybe not uh, what has happened in my team, but... Um, in other, all the teams, all the, let's see, the transfer history is all, only for us as well. So I don't know if there is a way to look at uh, the entire thing. There, there usually is a, a sort of a um, roundup of the window. So maybe we just kind of have to do that episode with a roundup of the window to talk about it in there. So... Yeah, I'm going to go through this news here now and I'm going to turn everything off after that and, and uh, call this at, at the end. So I hope you have enjoyed the episode. Do like, subscribe and all that nice stuff and uh, stay safe and have fun. And I'll just end with bye-bye-bye-bye.